when I was thinking about where to go to college, I just said, Lord, anywhere but Cedarville. My brother and my father came to Cedarville, and I've always wanted to be my own person. That's how I got into distance running. God worked it out for me to come and visit Cedarville College, and I just fell in love with the school and fell in love with the program and decided to come here. I'm here. <laughs> there is a test that every Christian college should have to pass. Is it able to accept the differences and meet the needs of the many kinds of people who God has called? Is it large enough to provide the latest facilities? Yet, is it small enough to make those facilities available to all? Are its academic standards tough enough to develop sharpness of mind? Yet, is its spiritual commitment strong enough to empower a Christian's faith? Is it laid back enough to find the joy and humor in earthly life, yet serious enough to look beyond it to the future that God has revealed? As you look to your future, put your college to the test. When you weigh the test results, we believe that you can count on Cedarville. I chose Cedarville College because of the balance it had, really, um, when because I was looking for it. I heard of its really outstanding reputation as a Christian college, and... First of all, I felt that it was the Lord's will for me, he, and I, I felt that in ways he showed different me... Different colleges attract different types of people. Some are more athletic, some are more educated. Here, I think it's more well-rounded. I have and a school that uh, taught sound doctrine and the, the Christian beliefs that I think are important, so that could be incorporated. Looking for a school, I wanted to go to a Christian school, but I didn't want to go to a place where I'd be swamped with a lot of rules and a lot of regulations. So that... And I've also heard of its nursing faculty, and nursing is my major, and that they're really caring faculty. And I also wanted to have a school with sound academics. I didn't think that that should be compromised, even though I was going to Christian college. academically, I would be challenged here, as well as spiritually. But it's really, it's really, re ugh, really rewarding. <laughs> Every day, the sun rises on a Cedarville that is somehow different than it was the day before. There is more to it than the outward signs that reflect an ambitious building program. Cedarville College also displays the responsiveness and growth that is bound to happen when Christians are living their faith, not just preaching it. Walking around campus, you get the feeling that this activity, this growth, this life, is somehow the blessing of heaven. There is confidence here. The smile of sunshine, the kiss of morning dew, all feel like the tangible evidence that at Cedarville College, your cause is just, your mission is important. We have seven objectives that help us to accomplish the mission of the college. I won't enumerate all of them, but for instance, the first objective is to undergird the student in the fundamentals of the faith and to help him evaluate knowledge in the light of scriptural truth. So this is our commitment to the Word of God, to the inerrant scriptures, and to helping that student evaluate all the body of knowledge in the light of what God has to say. I think the, the key word that comes to mind about Cedarville education is balance. It's a balance between individual development and also learning how to function in a group. A balance between ministry on the foreign fields, but also ministry right here at home. Between professional Christian ministry and getting out into the business world, teaching profession, medical profession. Balance is the key word that drives everything we do. public accounting is interaction with people, interaction with your clients, um, dealing with problems on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And I felt that the, the social life here at Cedarville um, prepared me for that as well as the academic courses that I took. Dramatic impact upon
upon the amount of money that is invested in these money market mutual funds. $35 billion of additional investments into money market mutual funds. Our students are uh, extremely well prepared and competitive in the job market. Uh, many recruiters will often comment about uh, not only the academic preparation, uh, but also about uh, the, their ethic, their work ethic. I already asked that everything that's done here today would be done to your honor and glory, for it's in your precious son's name we ask these things. Amen. Good morning. We are here as your consultants to advise you on your actions to take for your optimal The time horizon that we've given for the campaign would be through the fall The advertising budget should be increased, but not necessarily by as much as suggested. When I was here, I studied music, music education. Any school that I wanted to attend after Cedarville, I would not have had any problem. The education I got here, the integration, the liberal arts background, um, set me up for my graduate experience. I think the professors here especially care what products the college is turning out. And I felt as though a mediocre performance that I put forth was not good enough for them. And in fact, they always... After I graduated, I was hired by ABC News, and they were impressed with the amount of experience I'd gained in college. Tennis is a, it's a pressure cooker. Most of the points scored in tennis are scored on mistakes. And if you make more mistakes than the other fellow, you lose. And whenever you have to lose, and you have to build, and you have to struggle to grow and improve, you're dealing with pretty real-life situations. The personification of success, when a son tries to reach out for his future, and a father tries to hold on to his past, in Going In, by David Crane. Forensics is intercollegiate speech competition. We take students from our college, small private college, and we compete with the best and the brightest students in the nation. And this year we placed second in the state. The reason is, a student at Cedarville has a mission. I can't talk to you. That's not the question. Well, it may not be your question, but it's my question. Good night. That's a statement, and a statement's not a question. Carter! The Bible tells us that we are the light of the world, salt. the salt of the earth, a city set on a hill. These are all images that we can link to communication. Students from every discipline are invited to perform in our programs. It's not just theater people or come arts people. Because of that, we develop a team. Kevin, <laughs> you just warm so many hearts. <laughs> we work together as a family, bringing to life a piece of literature, a piece of music, and basking in the smiles of an appreciative audience. Right, that's right. The people rule by majority. One of the greatest advantages in the education department is you get many opportunities to be in the school, in different schools. And I don't think that I could have as much confidence in myself going into my first year teaching if I didn't have that experience. As it's around, you can try. You have to shake it a certain way. You kind of twist it. And you can see in the middle a tornado spiraling yeah, around. Can. can you see it in there? Science and engineering at Cedarville stress a rigorous understanding of God's created universe and provide answers to the theories that men have devised to explain it. Excellent facilities and instruction prepare Cedarville graduates for positions in research, industry, and medicine. An outcome of either zero or one, of nine or ten, then we find out that what we have a true hypothesis. At alpha point zero one, we have one chance out of 100 of making a high. The courses that I've had in Bible, they've, there have been practical courses, and then there's been the theology courses that have been somewhat taxing, but very rewarding in the study of, of what God has said in his word. It is a series of battles reaching the climax when Jesus Christ comes to the earth is because he's not just killing a hunk of protoplasm. He is killing someone that God made in his image. And so after the fall, we see that man still bears the image of God. Andy is a 14-month-old who was born prematurely, and for that reason, 
has a very severe lung disorder. Nursing is so much more than, than just taking a blood pressure and just listening to lungs. He needs to be touched and loved and cared for and held and played with. That is the real essence of nursing. game is incredible. My first game, and when I came out on the floor, I looked around and there were millions of people out in the stands. As soon as I got out of the floor, man, I just get to feel my heart pumping. I was ready to go. And then our guys came out of the court and the, and the crowd screams and roars, and it's really loud. You can't hear anything. I don't even know if they can hear us cheer. Many schools and universities teach that success is winning. What I learned here was that success goes much deeper than that. It can result in the scoreboard being in your favor. But really when you feel successful is when you've developed relationships on the team where there is a real love that binds you together and unites you. And also when you're able to establish a testimony where people see that Christianity is not just something that you do in chapel or that you do in church. There can be no balance without caring for others and sharing with them the gospel. Cedarville ministry teams serve people around the world. More than 100 outreach opportunities bring Cedarville students face to face and heart to heart with those who most need the message of God's word wherever they may be. Chapels are really important to me at Cedarville. The moment I walk into the chapel, I immediately feel a warm sense about me. And I think that's because of the unity that the student body and the faculty all have. Commitment to developing character in you and us being involved. I want to tell you today that no matter how badly you have God can give you a brand new beginning. He can cleanse you. My goal in life is ultimately to honor and serve my Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't know if I would do that in a capacity as a pastor or a missionary or perhaps even a professor. But any one of these three, I know that Cedarville has prepared me well for. Cedarville is the kind of college that is intent on producing good Christian men and women who know how to excel. Making a difference means making it to the finish. When I think of Cedarville, I see the opportunity to prepare young people for life. When I think of Cedarville College, I see balance. On the one side, you have quality academic programming, quality faculty, facilities to meet the needs. On the other side, I see the evangelism and the discipleship and the chapel programming 
the Christian service, the outreach ministry, the local church, missions, reaching the world for Christ. That's balance. When I think of Cedarville, I see friends. Friends that are very close, friends that are encouraging, friends that are always there. When I think of Cedarville, I see a family because there is a unique closeness that is experienced here. And you grow to love this place, or at least I have.